to Louisville, Louisville, Louisville. I don't know. I'm going to say Louisville. Although when you're singing it, it goes, Eight more miles and Louisville will come into my view. Louisville. You don't want to say that. So anyway, I'll say Louisville when I'm speaking it. When I'm singing it, I'll say Louisville. Okay? That way we... I will not say Louisville, though, because that's not the way it goes. Okay. I'm going to start on the fourth string, second fret. going to slide to the fifth fret. Now, those are all quarter notes. So I'm counting one, two, three, four, one. Pitch. And I want that to be nice and crisp. Okay. So one, two, three. Three, four, one, two. Now I'm going to do a D seventh chord on the third string and the second string. We don't know that chord. We need to learn it. A good exercise would be a four reversal open and then uh, with the chord down. In this case, I'm going to hammer on the third string. I'm actually going to hammer on both strings because I want this to already be in place because it's the next next note I play is that C. So I'm, I'm hammering on the second fret of the third string. And I'm playing the first fret of the second string. And then the fifth string and the first string. So that's the first full measure. So I'm going to do my pickup. One, two, three. Okay, then I'm doing a slide on the third string. We've seen that a bunch. This is three, two, one, five. Yeah, I'm leaving my finger there. And then my next note is just going to be on the fifth fret of the same string, third string. So I'll just put one finger down in front of, if I use my second finger to slide with, I use my second finger because my, my first finger, is, I just, it's harder for me to get it tall enough where it doesn't interfere with the other strings. My second finger is tall enough where I can keep that one and two open underneath it. And I'm putting my third finger right down in front of it, like so. So three, two, one, five, three. I'm going to go back to a 2-3 hammer-on on the second string. I'm use my thumb for that. Okay, so so far I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, D7, slide, and that's actually a C chord there, so that's a C note. i got one back here too, but I choose this one. And here's my hammer on. Next measure is going to be open five, two, one, five. And I'm going to pick up uh, this pull off with my index finger because it's a forward roll. I got two forward rolls five, two, one, five, three, and then four. So five, two, Pull off is on going from three to two. Do it with my index finger. Three, one, four. And the, the fourth string is on the fourth fret. That's an F sharp down there. That's a D chord. And I'm pulling off to my A here. Three, two. Pulling off from a B flat to an A. And then playing a D, playing an F sharp, and a D. That gives me the three notes of my D triad, A, or D, A, and F sharp. So that measure again, five, two, one, five, pull off. Okay. And now three, pinch, four. And I do the same thing again. Slide on the fourth string from two to five. Pinch, D seventh again. Slide again. Fifth fret, hammer on. 
So that, that whole line is uh, repeating what we've already done. Now, uh, I'm going to do a four diverse row, starting on the fifth string. It's five, two, one, five, one, two, three. Now, I just did my hammer on. So I got two fingers on here on the second and third fret of the second string. Use my thumb down there for that hammer on. Because I like to just nail that string. Now, the hit the five. Leave this finger in place, move this finger over to the first string. So that's my forward part of this. Five, two, one, five. Now take both fingers off. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to start back at the slide again. The two to four slide. Three, two, one. Next measure is going to be a D chord, so I'm, I'm using two notes on my D. Hopefully you have worked on your, your D chord with all four fingers. In this case, I'm just using fingers three and one. First finger is on the second fret of the third string. Third finger is on the fourth fret of the fourth string. Everything else is open, which in this case is only the first string. So I'm doing three, one, four, three, one, three, four. Okay? And that last note's a quarter note, so watch out for that. One, one and two and three and four. Okay? And thumb, middle, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb. Next measure is back to my C chord again. This is same. Same uh, C hammer on that I did. Where did I do it? No, I haven't. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna hammer on from zero to one on the uh, second string. Zero to the first fret. And the same thing. I'm gonna hammer this. Hammer both fingers on, but I'm only playing one of the strings because that's my next note. Is the second fret of the first string with my third finger. Now, so two, one, five, I'm gonna scoot up here to five now. Uh, in this case, I'm using my index and my third finger. I'm gonna drop my second finger down, leave my third finger on the first string. So, two, one, five, two, one, five, two. Because the melody moves from here to here. And instead of just staying on here, that doesn't really carry the melody as well. You can even give it a little slide there. I knew someday that I'd come back. Okay? That's that lick. Going from this C chord to this C chord. You need to know this stuff anyway for songs like... Farewell Blues and others that use this position here. So you got this one and this one, and you're switching in between. And next measure is going to be the open one, the hammer two, one, and the same thing that we did before five, two, one, five. And um, now I'm going to reverse that roll one, two, three. Down to a pull off again on the third string. Three to two pull off. Now here I'm going to hammer on. Those are all eighth notes. So that's a slower hammer on than I'm used to on like uh, like that kind of thing. In this case, this the open string gets an eighth note. The hammer gets an eighth note. So one and two and. It's a slower hammer on. So that measure, one, two, three, one. I'm counting one and two and three and four and. And here comes my same D lick again, two fingers on. In this case, I'm ending it on the first string. I'm doing all eight eighth notes. 
my next note is just an open string. So I, I'm not having to move anywhere. So that gives me a chance to go ahead and play all the notes of that, that uh, D measure. Three, one, four, three, one, three, four, one, and three. Pinch, same D seventh as the second lick of the song. And same slide. Now, uh, I'm actually just repeating the first line of the song. Open, pull off. And then I'm back up to the double lines at the top of the page. Okay? I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. Slide, pinch, D7, slide. Oh. Um. 